Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Triple Double Nation. Today we'll be covering the top 10 current NBA duos. Let's get into the video. Number 10, Chris Paul and Danilo Gallinari, Oklahoma City Thunder. This slide could have easily been titled Chris Paul and Inner Thunder player here. The 15th year point guard made the best of what could have been a tough situation. This was the first move of Paul's NBA career that was squarely out of his hands. Rob Mahoney wrote of CP3's trade at Oklahoma City Thunder for the ringer. There was no trade demand and no player option, which allowed him to angle his way to the Rockets in 2017. Paul, seemingly in the twilight of his career and on one of the league's most daunting contracts, was supposed to be in a holding pattern until some other team snatched him up. When that contract proved too difficult to move, Paul settled in and just played basketball. And when he was on the floor, his team played the game about as well as anyone. When CP3 was on the floor, the Thunder outscored opponents by 6.7 points per 100 possessions, a net rating that ranked in the 87th percentile. His net rating swing ranked in the 98th percentile. He's definitely MVP, no doubt. Danilo Gallinari, who was the second on the team in wins over replacement player this season, told reporters of Paul. His leadership, I've played with a lot of players in my 12 years in the league, and I think he's the best leader I've ever had. And I think that when you want to find the MVP, the leadership is one of the first things you need to talk about. CP3 may be the leader, but the one thing doling out the praise there can't be ignored. As one of the game's most modern and efficient scorers, Gallinari is an almost ideal four in today's NBA. Number 9, Jason Tatum and Kimball Walker, Boston Celtics. The Boston Celtics are no longer the plucky underdog of Brad Stevens' earlier years at the helm. Thanks in large part to 2020 All-Stars Jason Tatum and Kimball Walker, when both were on the floor, Boston outscored its opponents by 12.6 points per hundred possessions, a net rating that ranked in the 98th percentile. The dominant play coincided with smart adjustments to shot selection. Both increased their three-point attempt rates over what they put up last season. For the first time in his career, Kimba took that mark over 50%. Additionally, over 20% of his shots were twos from 10 feet and out last season. That number dropped to below 16% in 2019 and 20. Tatum similarly adapted it to the modern game. On top of raking more threes, he nearly cut his rate of two-point attempts from 16 feet and out in half. Other players deserve big credit for this as well. But smarter basketball from the two All-Stars was a big part of why the Celtics went from 10th in offense in 2018 and 19 to 5th this season. The real secret to Tatum's superstar leap, though, was what he provided on the other side of the ball. His block steal and defensive rebounding percentages all went up this season, and his ability to guard multiple types of players helped Boston play positionless with Jalen Brown and Gordon Hayward. Number 8, Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum. This is the only duo in the top 10 that has a sub .500 record in games in which both played. That says a couple of things about Lillard and McCollum. First, their supporting cast was suspect coming into the season, thanks in large part to the front office unloading defenders like Al Farouk Aminu and Maurice Harkless, but injuries truly devastated the squad. Second and more importantly, these two are really good, and that's especially true when they play together. McCollum has been the full-time starting two since 2015 and 16. In that span, Portland has plus 4.6 points per possessions with both McCollum and Lillard on the floor and minus 7.7 .7 with both off. The difference is even more pronounced when you look at the same numbers for 2019 and 20. Even with a 29-37 record and a negative point differential overall, the Blazers still managed to beat teams pretty thoroughly when both the star guards were in. Number 7, Luka Doncic and Chris Stapps Porzingis. Luka and Chris Stapps finishing this high is impressive for a number of reasons. Doncic missed 13 games while Porzingis missed 16. Porzingis took a while to get going after spending all last season recovering from a torn ACL. Porzingis is 24 and Luka just turned 21. This is their first year together. To already be a top 7 duo in the NBA despite the injuries, adjustment period and inexperience is remarkable and it bodes well for the Dallas Mavericks future. They possess vision, anticipation, appalling range, and are starting to trust one another in a free-flowing, spacious system, Michael Pina wrote of Doncic and Porzingis for SB Nation. We're still at the ground floor what they can do together, and already they've assisted at each other's baskets more than any other teammates in the roster have. They cut, spot up, and curl off screens along the same wavelength. Number 6, Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray. Nikola is 6 in NBA history and career box plus minus. He's been above 6.0 in that mark in 4 of his 5 NBA seasons, something that only 4 other players, David Robinson, LeBron James, Matthew Johnson, and Michael Jordan can claim. The game behind those numbers is what's really fun about Jokic though. The NBA has never seen a true center like this. The way he runs the offense, whether he's on break, in the high post, on the block, or at the top of the key, allows the Denver Nuggets to essentially start a shooting guard at the one, and Jamal Murray thrives in that role. This year he posted career highs in points and box plus minus, and the mesmerizing chemistry between him and a big man continue to grow. Number 5, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, Los Angeles Clippers. With a more subjective approach, or one more based on rate stats, it would be easy to rank Kawhi Leonard and Paul George higher on this list. In terms of pure talent or potential playoff peaks, there's an argument to have them at number one, but the selected criteria gives quite a bit of overweight to the ability. Kawhi missed 13 games, PG missed 22. Had they appeared in more games, the Los Angeles Clippers might be neck and neck with the Los Angeles Lakers for first in the West. Going back to the metrics used to rank these pairings, Leonard and George finished third in winning percentage, second in net rating, and fourth in net rating swing. When both star forwards actually played, the Clippers looked like a juggernaut. 
Number four, Jimmy Butler and Bam Abadeo, Miami Heat. When Jimmy Butler chose the Miami Heat over the incumbent Philadelphia 76ers last summer, many understandably questioned the decision. But if he wants to win so badly, you ask, why would he choose the Heat over the Sixers? Fast forward nine months and Miami's ahead of Philly in the standings, while Butler is considered a likelier candidate for MVP than any Sixer by Basketball References MVP tracker. His mentality seemed a perfect fit for Miami's notorious culture, as he explained to J.J. Redick on the J.J. Redick podcast, and he may have found a kindred spirit in Bam Abadeo. The competitive drive of the third-year big is similar to Butler's. Number 3, James Harden and Russell Westbrook, Houston Rockets. There still may be some kinks to iron out with the James Harden-Russell Westbrook pairing. Over the course of the season, the Houston Rockets were better when Harden was on the floor without Westbrook than they both were on. Both are still on the best with their ball in their hands, and Westbrook is obviously not a floor spacer in the mold of a typical Harden teammate. All that being said, Houston's radical shift of micro ball may have been an elixir. If we're done running pick and roll with Clint Capella, why not just make Westbrook a point center? Trading Capella and leaning exclusively on lineups to avoid a traditional center opened up the lane for Westbrook, who also started ditching threes around the same time Houston went along on his philosophy. We're giving him space for him to go out there and do what he does at a high level. What he's been doing for 12 years, Harden told reporters of Westbrook at the All-Star break. You let him go out there and be himself. The comfort level is there. Number 2, LeBron James and Anthony Davis, Los Angeles Lakers. The LeBron James Anthony Davis pairing made so much sense on paper. Pick and rolls, transition, two man games, while LeBron outside and AD in the post. Plenty were excited for all of it, but even optimistic prognosticators may have anticipated a bit of an adjustment period. Ultimately, there really wasn't one. This duo worked right out of the gate. Over the course of the season, they had a two man net rating that ranked in the 95th percentile. Both put up over 25 points per game with above average true shooting percentages and basketball references MVP tracker. LeBron is number two, while AD is number four. Together, they make up the most prolific assist combo in the league. Most importantly, they've helped Lakers bring home the title in the 2020 season. Number 1, Giannis Adetokounmpo and Chris Middleton, Milwaukee Bucks. It may surprise some to learn that the Lakers aren't the only team with two players in the top 10 of Basketball References MVP tracker. Giannis Adetokounmpo is a no-brainer. He's been the runaway favorite for the award for the majority of the season. The breakout of his teammate Chris Middleton was the unexpected development that took the Milwaukee Bucks to historic levels. Middleton posted significant improvements from 2018 to 19 in points per possession, three-point percentage, shoe shooting percentage, and box plus minus. Among the 10 players in NBA history who took at least 100 threes and matched or exceeded Middleton's 2019 to 20 marks for field goal percentage, three-point percentage, and free throw percentage, only Stephen Curry's 31.9 points for 75 possessions in 2015 and 16 eclipsed Middleton's 24. This was a truly great scoring season, which Middleton proved that he's more than a compliment to Giannis. He's a star himself. As for Adit Kumpo, he's doing things that have never been seen before. He's the only player in NBA history to have a season with averages of at least 30 points and 15 rebounds for 75 possessions. And that's even lowering the bar a bit. His marks are 32.9 and 15.2, throwing 6.4 assists, 1.1 blocks, 1.1 steals, and 60.4 true shooting percentage, and we enter territory that defies analysis. Giannis is an unstoppable force, thanks Shaq or Kareem, only with more passing and defensive versatility. Oh, and he put in 1.6 threes for 75 possessions this season, something those great bigs could never dream of. Right now, he's 26 in NBA history and career box plus minus. He'll become just the 16th player in league history to secure the honor more than once. Adding to that resume, something that duo is capable of winning, and Giannis will start to enter rarefied air in discussions on all-time status. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future.